गाइस वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल वे वी टॉक ऑल अबाउट गेट वेलकम बैक एंड वी आर स्टडिंग डीबीएमएस एंड वी आर अप टू द लेवल ऑफ नॉर्मलाइजेशन अंडर द डेटाबेस डिजाइन स्टडी एंड इन दिस प्रीवियस वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव अंडरस्टूड ऑल द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच वर रिक्वायर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड नॉर्मलाइजेशन प्रॉपर्ली If you remember from the very first video, I told you we need to understand the concept of function dependency, and then comes the concept of keys, and then we can understand the concept of normal forms, and then we can properly understand what normalization is. So so far we have covered function dependency, we have covered the concept of keys. Now comes the normal forms and normalization, which goes along with each other and will follow from this video onward. In the in the previous things which we have learned so far we have understood a relational schema design what a relation schema is which is in common language which is called as table where we store the data so a relation schema structure will have the name of the relation will have attributes names and will have the relations among the attributes defined in terms of functional dependency right there will be a set of functional dependencies which will be denoted by f this is what we have understood so far so that uh, i can say that we have understood that how to design we have understood how to design which is a very basic design nothing much okay now now uh, we we have understood how to design but we have just seen the structural level we have yet uh, not gone into the in the data part we have not stored any data yet we have not performed any operation over the data right how do we make a decision whether this design is good or this design is good uh, we make the decision by uh, by facing uh, by checking out that do we face any problem uh, while we perform the basic operation over the database like you have a relation schema suppose r1 and you have a relation schema suppose r2 you have certainly uh, Uh, inserted data into it, and you have inserted data into here also. Now the basic operation that you perform over the databases are what three basic operations: you insert data, you delete data, and you update data. Right? In order to access my data, like these are the basic need for having a DBMS that we want to store certain data, and we want to perform operation. Is it allowing you to insert everything that you want to insert? Is it allowing you to delete? what do you want to delete and still retaining the other data is it allowing you to update and it's it's updating everything consistently these are the basic three things so we are going to check on the ground of these operations and we will then make a, we will then come out and say that yes because these operations are getting performed rightly so i can say that my database design or my schema is a normalized database otherwise we call it unnormalized database and now comes the uh, the uh, the term normalization into the picture normalization as i told you is a basic term which is a kind of process which tries to make something normal or regular so now normalization will be performed over the database or over the relation schema design we will normalize the relation schema design or the database design to make it more normal i told you how it is not normal it is not normal if it does not behave normally over the basic operations so now this becomes the theoretical part and this itself arises the need of performing normalization when we ultimately point out the issues and try to resolve them then we will see that how do we have to alter the design or we have to change the design to make the basic operations get performed and that alteration of database design or schema design will be nothing but then the normalization performed okay we have uh, seen the design we have understood that we have we need there is a need of normalization because we want to perform the basic operations successfully so what are the basic operations we want to perform these three operations successfully which is insert delete and update successfully means they should be performed without any error and there should be consistency among the database and there should not be any redundancy right everything should be allowed to be inserted everything should be allowed to be deleted and everything should be allowed to be updated so how to design has been understood now the need to improve the design 
in order to have basic operations done successfully. So the need to improve the design is the need to have the normalization process. And how to improve the design is how to perform the normalization. So I think uh, this is clear to you uh, theoretically that why do we have to have normalization and how we will have the unnormalized database. We will have something unnormalized only when we will say that the basic operations what we want to perform is not able to be performed successfully. Then we will say that we have unnormalized data. And through that unnormalized data, we will come to the normalized form of data and this will go through a block which is normalization process. Okay, this is, this is so far uh, explained to you theoretically. Now in the followed video, and you, I will take a big example where I will take a table and I will insert data and I will show you right there in front of you that while inserting, what are the issues coming up, while deleting, what are the issues coming up. Then you can easily see and understand the, the thing which I try to un make you understand now practically there. So let's wind up here on this video and move to the next video to understand it practically with an example. Thank you so much for following this video.